Breakout rooms can be a really handy way to engage your online learners. It allows them to develop a deeper analysis of your learning points through discussion and also to connect with their fellow learners and build community. But sometimes the tech stands in the way and we are so worried about getting it wrong that we actually don't try breakout rooms at all. Setting up breakout rooms in Zoom is actually really simple and I'm going to take you through step by step so that you feel confident to use breakout rooms in your teaching sessions. Step one, before you can create a breakout room, you need to have activated breakout rooms in your Zoom account. And you also need to be the person who's setting up and creating the Zoom meeting. You can do all of this in advance and you only need to change the settings once. Go to my account, settings, then go to in meeting advanced and then scroll to breakout room. Make sure it's turned on. Tick the box for pre-assigning. There's no reason not to do this. And remember that you'll need to be allocated as a host in the meeting. And once you've done this, in every Zoom meeting you're in, you're gonna see the breakout room icon at the bottom. Step two, decide how you want your room set up. So how many rooms do you want? You can have between one and 50 rooms. Do you want people to be randomly allocated to the rooms when you start them? Or do you want to choose the allocations? You can also allow the participants to select their own rooms. You can rename the rooms if you want to, and you can also add additional rooms if you need or if you've changed your mind. Step three. Now look at the more specific options for your breakout rooms. You can choose to move students automatically. You can choose to allow them to come back to the main room themselves. You can set a time for the length of the breakout rooms and notify them when the time is up. You could also show them a countdown to how long is left until the breakout rooms end. Step four, open the rooms. Just click to open all the rooms. If you've set for people to join automatically, they will do. You can also see the time that's left on the meeting and you can still move people around into different rooms even after it started. Step five, help out during the meetings. As the host, you can join and drop into the different rooms. When you leave the room, just choose leave breakout room, don't end the meeting for all. And one great feature is that you can broadcast a message to all the rooms if you want to. Step six, end the breakouts. Here you can close all the rooms and you can actually reopen them all in the same way as they were if you want to do it again or you made the mistake. And your bonus step seven is that you can actually assign everyone to rooms in advance if you want to. Here you go to meetings, you scroll down, you edit the meeting and you go to breakout rooms pre-assign and you can pre-assign the rooms here. You can upload a CSV file and they actually have a template here which is really simple for you to use and edit and you, it will assign people to individual rooms. Or you can create the rooms and allocate them yourselves by adding email addresses. You can create up to 50 rooms and add up to 200 people. This is really handy if you know who's coming in advance. Now you can see that breakout rooms in Zoom are really simple. I hope now that you can confidently use them to enhance your learning.